Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers and my dear students. Good morning as well. Uh, as you know that we are going to this book. Cambridge IG CSE. Mathematics core and extended course book. Second edition. It has been written by Caris Ponson and Dick Hanshaw. Very comprehensive book and the course code is, I always tell you that the course code is 05 These are the course codes for this book. Uh, we'll be doing exercise 3.4 today and maybe we'll complete it today the topic was lines angles and shapes we have uh, gone through angles and we are uh, in between somewhere in the lines parallel lines which is cut by a transversal and uh, hope that soon we touching the shapes in our upcoming lectures so let's get started without wastage of time so we will be doing exercise 3.4 exercise 3.4 today and question number one question number one and i'll be starting it from part b because part A we have already discussed several times in our examples, in our uh, work examples and whatsoever it was. I am going to start with the part B. Let me draw it for you. Well, students, this is uh, our first question for today. And we have to find the unknown angles as usual with the help of the known angles. Uh, first of all, find the clues. Now there is one clue over here that this line, this line is parallel to this line. The clue is that this sign, always, when you find this line uh, amongst the uh, two lines, uh, you, you may not know that these are parallel lines or not. But if you find this sign, the arrowhead on the both sides, both the lines, it means that it is parallel. These are the parallel lines. So there are uh, angles given 45, 105, <coughs> X, Y, and Z. It is very simple that we can find angle Y uh, with the help of a triangle. Because in triangle, as I told you previously, that there are 180 degree angles. But we have limitation. We cannot find because we have not studied it as yet. Since we have not studied it as yet, so we will not find it from here. We'll find the clue other than this that there must be a Z angle there must be an F angle or whatsoever C angle. We'll find some clues and we'll go back and we'll recap what were our F angles, F type angles, Z type angles and C type angles. So, first of all, what we do here, you, you know that these two lines are parallel, these two lines are parallel and I can see a Z over here. See? Can you see a Z over here? Now this and this and this. And by chance an angle is also Z over here. The unknown angle name is also Z. So it means that 40 Z is equal to 45 degree. 45 degree. Z angle Z is equal to 45 degree because these are because these are 
Z type alternate angles because you see that is like this. Here is one angle and here is one angle. You see this is Z and we can find one angle over here and one angle over here. These are alternate angles. Alternate angles. You can write it in the region. Z type or you can also write it Z type. Okay, now since we have find angle Z, now what about this angle? Now you see that there is one more angle over here. Before my dear students, now we have to find angle Y. Now there are two or three methods to find Y over here. Uh, number one is again the alternate angle Z type or we can find a C type angles or we can find Z type angles, uh, F type angles. So we can uh, also find C type angles. Now you know that C type angles are equal to 180 degree. I have told you all about that. Now I told you that the C type angles when added together gives us supplementary angle. So you can see that here we can find a C over here. You see that this is a C. I tell you both the methods. Now just start with the first one with the C one with the C 105 plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree. Since we have found angle z also, 105 plus 45 plus y is equal to 180. So this become 150 plus y is equal to 180. So y is equal to 180 minus 150 that is equal to 130 that is equal to 30 not 130 only 30. Now this was the first method to find angle y over here. Now we have found angle z, angle y and of course when we have found the two angles this is very easy x plus y plus z is equal to 180 again because these are supplementary angles. Now we have found x, we have to found x. This is 30 degree, this is 45 degree. This is 30 degree plus 45 plus x is equal to 180 degree. Now x is equal, x plus 75 is equal to 180 x is equal to 180 minus 75 that is equal to 5 degree uh, 105 degree now x is equal to 105 degree you can see now what i was telling you that there are two or three methods to find these angles so dear students we have found all the unknown angles with the help of only two angles now there is another method eventually we have found the result for x is equal to 105 degree now let me do it in another way now you see that this is z over here again now this is z over here let me mark it like this 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 and this okay now this angle this angle was 105 degree well, actually this angle must be 105 degree. This one. Now this one is X. So it was very easy. Rather to do it long calculation, we have to find the Z, uh, Z alternate angle. So Z alternate angle. Now this was Z alternate angle is equal to 105 degree. X is equal to 105 degree. So it was very easy. When you find 
105 degree you have found also C and you can find Y as well like this if you have found X 105 this is 145 degree this is 0 and 5 and now what is the left over here y is left now y is equal to y plus 150 is equal to 180 y as is again 30 degree so there are many methods you can solve it uh, at your own uh, what uh, what angle you consider f type z type c type but you have to give the reasons also you have to give the reasons because without reasons uh, you cannot prove that uh, how you found these angles okay exercise 3.4 question number one now part is again i take some difficult one again see now my dear students i will tell you only one way if you find any other way you can do it by yourself uh, it is it will be very interesting that you find another way of solving these questions so it is no harm for which there are i told you that there are three types f z and c you can choose whatsoever is easy to you whatsoever is easy to you you can choose it by yourself and uh, give your answer with the reasons now I'll draw another uh, figure for you. My dear students, I'll be doing this question very quickly because you know that if I uh, go in, uh, in detail for each question, it will be very lengthy lectures now. Now you see, first of all, this figure is given to you now. Okay, now you have to find the clues first. Now this is a clue. The first clue is that these are the parallel line. Now this one and this one are the parallel line. The rest of are not. Okay. Now find the angles as many you can. Now this C is equal to E. Let me write it over here. Because this is a Z type angle, alternate angle. C is equal to E. Uh, Z alternate angle okay now another a is equal to d a is equal to d of vertically opposite angles okay now you see that if we find one angle we find two angles if you find one out of this, we will find the other automatically. Find one out of it, we will find other automatically. Now the angles which are left are A. Uh, A is also done. My dear students, you can see that we have at least come to some results that C is equal to E, A is equal to D and what about this B? Now, if you see that B carefully, you can see that this is a parallel line. This is a transversal. Now, these angles are the uh, corresponding angles, F corresponding angles. You can write it there. These are the F corresponding angles. This is uh, internal angle and this is external angle. Interior angle or exterior angle. So, B is equal to B is equal to 72 degree corresponding angles F type. Okay. Now, since we have to, we have found angle B also. We have found angle B also. So, it is very much easy. Now, this is uh, 72 degree. Add 72 plus 40 will it is 112 degree and the rest of is a degree and you see that these are the supplementary angles 
ए प्लस बी प्लस फोर्टी ए प्लस बी प्लस फोर्टी आर दी सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल विच आर मस्ट बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी फाउंड एंगल बी ओवर हेयर विच इज सेवेंटी टू डिग्री प्लस फोर्टी दैट इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व दैट इज इक्वल टू वन एटी ओके नाउ A is equal to hundred eighty minus one hundred and twelve. Now this is sixty eight degree. Hundred eighty, one hundred and twelve, eight and seven minus six sixty eight degree. Now this A is equal to sixty eight degree. Sixty eight degree. Okay. Now, since this angle is, this was equal to this vertically opposite angle. These are the vertically opposite angles. So A is equal to D. So D is also D is also sixty eight degree vertically opposite. Now, which one is left now? C, C and E are left. It is again very easy. We have found A, we have found B. We can find uh, C as well because A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C is equal to hundred and eighty degree again. A plus B plus C. Now it is sixty eight seventy two, sixty eight plus seventy two plus C is equal to hundred eighty degree. Now add these two's again. Now it will become one hundred and forty degree. One forty. One forty plus C is equal to one eighty, and C is equal to forty degree. When C is equal to forty degree, E is equal to forty degree. E is equal to forty degree. So it is. It was very easy. Now, dear students, there is another question for you, and we have to find the clues first. Now, you see, there are three parallel lines now, because these arrowhead tells us that these are the parallel lines. So, when these are the parallel lines, so this is one transversal, and this is another transversal. There are two transversals. Now. One transversal is the transversal which is cutting all the three lines, which is intersecting all the three lines. But the second transversal is the shorter one, which is only intersecting it uh, two lines over here. So, my dear students, you can find it. It is very easy. Again, that A. Let us start from A. A is equal to forty degree. A is equal to forty degree. These are alternate Z angles now. A is equal to forty degree. You can always write alternate Z angles. The reasons for this, reasons for this, and it is better to write reasons. Okay. Now this is A is equal to forty degree. It was very easy. When A is equal to forty degree, B is one hundred and forty degree. Supplementary angles. How much easy it was. Now this is 105 degree. When this is 105 degree, and the D angle B and angle D, angle D is again this 75 degree. These are again supplementary degrees, supplementary angles. Now which one is left? This one. Now this angle and this angle are equal because these are the corresponding angles, F type corresponding angles. So D is equal to C. C is equal to seventy-five degree. Uh, and this is corresponding angles, F type. Now this one is left. Okay. Since these all lines are parallel, these all lines are parallel. So this angle, this angle, and this angle are equal. So E is equal to hundred and five degree. These are again corresponding F type. 
it was the easiest question of the all. Now let us start question number two, part A. Now a figure is given which is like this 60 degree and this is again 60 degree. This clue is given only and we have asked that A, B and C, D. So this clue is given only that two angles are given and we have been asked that whether A, B is parallel to C, D or not. Yes, they are parallel to C, D. Because you can see that this is a Z type angle. Uh, this is a Z alternate angle. Z alternate angle. Because now the theory of uh, parallel lines. Suppose these are parallel lines. Suppose because we, have, we, we don't know that these are parallel lines. Cut by a transversal. Now this is a transversal. Let me name it T. This is a transversal. So there are some angles formed. So this angle is equal to this angle only when these are parallel lines and this is a Z type alternate angle. This is a Z type alternate angles are only equal when these are the parallel lines which are cut by a transversal. So it means that AB is equal to CD a B is equal to C D is parallel to rather C D because the given angles are the given angles are are Z type alternate angles. Okay, so this is done. Now, my dear students, uh, watch this also. This is the last question of the day. Uh, it is question number two, part C. Question number two, part C. This is line A, B, and we don't know whether the, these are parallel or not because no clue is given. This is the transversal. Uh, this is not the transversal. Okay, we don't know it. The only thing which is given to us is this is a 75 degree angle. And this is 105 degree angle. This is 75 degree angle and this is 105 degree angle. Now my dear students, see that if I if I suppose that this is line A B and this is C D which are parallel lines, if I suppose then this angle must be 75 degree then this angle must be 75 degree now let me suppose that this is an angle which is 75 degree only when i suppose that a b is parallel to c d now if these are parallel then this plus this should be 180 degree okay 180 degree. Now the, it is clear with the naked eye that this is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, it it is proved that AB is parallel to CD because this angle plus this angle are equal to 180 degree and this angle is equal to this angle. So this is F type F type corresponding angles. There is one another. Now this is okay proved. Now there is one more. Uh, let me do it very quickly to you. This is part B in fact. This is part B. I am going to do it very quickly with free hand. Now the only thing which is given to us is 108 degree over here and 82 degree over here. Now we have read that this is you, you see that this is a C type 
angles. When C type angle, when we consider C type angles, the C type angles must be 180 degree. Suppose that this A B line, A B C D lines are parallel. A B C D lines are parallel. Suppose I am saying if suppose A B is parallel to C D, then this C then this C must be equal to 180 degree. So let us check 108 plus 82 that is equal to 190 degree. So it is proved that A B is not parallel to C D. A B is not parallel to C D because we have come to know from the C type angles, it must be equal to 180 degree. It is equal to 90, 190 degrees are there. So it, these are not parallel. A, B is not parallel to C, D. So my dear students, this was all for today. And hope that you would have understood this. I have left some questions for you to uh, get it solved by yourself. Uh, if you feel any difficulty in solving those questions, you can ask me into the comment box below. Uh, it is very, these are very easy questions. So I have uh, just skipped them to uh, finish the exercise today. We'll be uh, inshallah doing triangles in our next uh, session. So get ready for the triangles. Yeah. Because it is uh, the first shape we are going to do is triangle. So we'll be studying some uh, uh, types of triangles according to their angles and according to their sides so be prepared it is better that you can read it by yourself what are the triangles then i'll tell you uh, in uh, my upcoming lectures what are triangles and how we will deal them so it's time to say you goodbye allah hafiz